Money isn't coming to you because you don't understand what money likes, or rather, who money likes. I went from having zero dollars sleeping on a basement floor to becoming a top 1% earner. And I've used the same methods that transform my financial life to help my clients close $1,000, $2,000, $4,000 sales, all from information that's already in their minds. And I'm going to teach you one of the major concepts I teach them to make money. And that is money isn't real. Money isn't like an apple or a phone or a person that exists in your physical world. Money's totally abundant totally infinite thing floating around in the ether of the internet. But you'll never have huge levels of money if you don't learn how to care less about it. And that may sound odd to you, but by the end of this video, you'll understand and be able to do what I'm talking about. And there's three concepts you need to understand so that you can import more money into your life and your business. And the first one is money is energy. Currency has changed through the ages. We had silver, gold, cash, and now digital money and crypto. The form of currency has evolved, but the energy hasn't. Money is simply an energy of value in the universe. Energy is never destroyed. It just transforms. So for instance, if your bank account balance just magically hit zero today, there'd be an energy transfer. You may have an energy of panic, fear, anger, even. The lack of money creates an energy, an energy that emotionally affects you. A different transfer of energy would happen if all of a sudden you got $10 million deposited into the bank automatically. You'd probably have a different rush of emotions. What what would you feel if $10 million dropped in a bank? Huh? The first word that actually came into my mind was relieved, but that makes no sense considering the life I live. <laughs> Facts. So true. Uh, my wife is here, but we decided that we're going to talk about these concepts together because it'd be more fun, more fun together. Right. That's what we decided to do. It right. He really did this so he could check it off the list as a date. Just kidding. <laughs> Facts. Anyways, you'd probably have a different rush of emotions if you had $10 million deposited into the bank. A totally different energy. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you own a lawn care business and miss brown pays you to cut her lawn stop giggling bro i know i know you're i know how you stay leave miss brown alone all right so miss brown's paying you to cut her lawn <laughs> she's giving you money a form of energy and then you use your energy in this case physical energy to cut her lawn and she's happy that her lawn is cut and you're happy that you got paid you've provided her with value. And it's very important to understand what value is when it comes to making more money because most people throw this word around all the time and they have zero clue what it actually is. So let's talk about value. So after you've cut Mrs. Brown's lawn, I think she was named Miss Brown before, she wasn't married. Mm -mm. No, she was Miss Brown before, I don't know what happened. But anyways, you cut Mrs. Brown's lawn, and she has a feeling of positive emotions. Those positive emotions are value, okay? Value is simply emotions. Everyone else on the internet is like, oh, I'm providing value, I'm providing value. What the hell is that? Value could be an insight. Value could be how to do something. Value could be all types of different shit. So what it really is at its core is emotional. How do you make someone feel? What emotions do you create in the person who's paying you? That's what value is. You got to understand what emotions are first. All right. Emotions are energy in motion. Money is also energy. All energy is connected because it comes from the same source. And people give this source many names, right? You got God, spirit, the universe, the cosmos. It's all the same thing, right? It's all the origin of energy in the universe. So in order for someone to pay you, you need to tap into that energy source. And how do you tap into that energy source? By tapping into their emotions. People don't buy things because of logic. And I don't care what anybody tells you, all oh, the one plus one equals two, and that's why people buy and you know, it needs to make monetary sense. People don't buy things because they make sense. They buy things because they make sensations, right? Mm -hmm. Put that in your notes app. People don't buy things because they make sense. People buy things because they make sensations. You buy things that make a lot of sensations. Yes. You in particular. That's yeah. nice. <clears throat> Calm down. All right. Behave yourself. It's a PG channel. 
Jesus, peace, bro. <laughs> People buy things because of sensations. Emotional sensations. All right? I don't know what to do with you. Even if you do something as simple as buying groceries, it's because you're trying to not starve and die. And why do you not want to starve and die? Because you fear the pain of death. And fear is an emotion. Therefore, you go to the grocery store so you don't feel emotional pain. And fear isn't a good or bad emotion, right? Something is only good or bad depending on how you look at it. But that's for a totally different video. So we'll talk about that another time. Put that away to the side. So now you know that money is exchanged due to emotions. How can you use this for your benefit? Because money is attracted to certain emotions. So what do you need to do emotionally to bring the money to you? Before answering that question, I'm going to ask you a question. How do you feel when you turn a light switch on in your house? How do you feel when you turn a light switch on? Mm, I feel like I'm pretty sure it's going to turn on because, yeah. you know, we you pay my bill. I mean, we pay the bills. <laughs> exactly. Pretty certain. How do you feel when you go to put your shoes on? Uh, to go outside i'm pretty sure that i'm capable of doing such actions mm -hmm. how do you feel when you take your shoes off when you enter the house happy to be home again and y'all y'all americans i don't know why you guys keep your shoes on in the house like fix up I, d I don't understand like you guys are walking around outside amongst all the dirty like imagine you live in new york oh. I you live in New York with the rats and, and you take the, the train. And, and hey, I got nothing against that. I took the public transit for majority of my life, right? But you taking a train, there's rats everywhere. There's people everywhere. God knows what's been, God knows what's been on the floor. And then you want to come walk around in your place of dwelling, your house, your place of sanctity and hopefully cleanliness and walk around with all that outside stuff. Wait, pause. Do they have like indoor and outdoor shoes? Like school for kids? I well, don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to make sense of this concept, so. I really don't understand how that's a thing. Like, is that how slippers were like became a thing? Uh, so I guess that's what slippers are for house shoes but man i really don't know i don't know how that became a thing if y'all be wearing shoes inside your house that's preventing you from making money doc <laughs> okay <laughs> that's that's it we found a solution <laughs> Ooh, all right but yeah the, anyways turning on the light putting on shoes to go outside taking shoes off when you come in the house these are all pretty like irrelevant things right and you likely don't feel much of anything at all. And you don't really care when you turn on the light in your house, right? You have an inner knowing and a belief and a conviction that you can turn on the light easily. So let me ask you this now. How would you feel when you have your dream amount of money in the bank? You, you need to know what that amount of money is. But how would you feel with your dream amount of money in the bank? How would you act? she started dancing how would you speak what would you be doing and the reason i'm asking you this is because money is a frequency a little amount of money is a frequency and a lot of money is a frequency and frequency is once again energy that you can't see but it has an influence in your life and if you saw my video on you need to be able to fuck if you want to get rich i make so much money that's why we make so much money huh <laughs> <laughs> sick <laughs> anyways check that video because it's not really about what you think it's about but in that video i talk about the similarities between sales and seduction and in that video i talk about this concept of an auric field of energy we as people use the electromagnetic field to see and we can only see 0.0035% of the electromagnetic field that means there's 99.9965 or something like that some math okay that we can't see yet there is things in there energy frequency emotion aura those things live there your frequency your emotions they live in that space and you've already experienced this you might be somewhere and a group of guys walk in and you can just tell they're dangerous it's their aura or if you go to a funeral everybody's sad and then that energy is there and everyone's sad or you get around somebody who's like angry all the time and then you start getting angry 
because that's their frequency and the frequency is influencing you. So the first thing that influences your frequency is your emotions. If you're panicking all the time about making money or paying bills or buying stuff, that isn't the frequency you'd be on if you had the money that you want. And when I say this, so many people get tripped up and they start thinking about what they would have, right? $10 million drops in our bank. Like, what are we buying? Exactly what we would have bought. Not much, <laughs> you know? not much. So th that's not how you import the money you want into your life. It doesn't start with physical things. It starts with mental energy and you need to tap into how you would feel. If you had the amount of money you wanted, would you be anxious? Would you be worried? Would you be desperate? Would you be angry? So ask yourself, why are you like that now? And this is why money doesn't come to you. Because basically what you're doing is imagine this. Imagine there was a man and he's super pissed off in the middle of the road. And he's throwing punches at the sky and screaming, give me money, give me money. How many people do you think are going to stop and give that guy money? Next to none. No one's going to give him money. Versus if you were in a park and someone was just sitting down, calm, peaceful, tranquil, it'd be way easier for you to strike up a conversation with them. It wouldn't be dangerous. Money doesn't want to be around dangerous frequencies. Dangerous frequency and dangerous people are two different things because there's a lot of dangerous people with money, but energetically and frequency wise, they have a frequency that pulls money to them. Otherwise it wouldn't come to them. You get me? You know what I'm saying? We know some dangerous people with some money. I cannot confirm nor deny those allegations. We don't know which anybody. You've I'm just sorry. That, I, I don't know anyone who does anything at all besides get rich with their mind in the next realm. Anyways, money is like a woman and she wants to be with someone who's poised, who knows what they're doing who knows what to do to make her have a good time. So if you want to start getting the money you desire from your business, then you need to connect emotionally to how you would feel if you were making $1 million, $10 million, $50 million, whatever your number may be. You need to tap into those emotions. And some of you are gonna make the mistake of feeling super excited but this is a mistake and i'll tell you why because this isn't how you would feel if you were making the money you wanted to be making on a regular basis because it would be normal how would you feel if 10k a month was normal 100k a month was normal a million dollars a month was normal you really need to tap into your mental power and your emotions to do this so think about doing this when you wake up and set your day up think about how you would feel if you had your dream income because making your dream income needs to feel as normal as buying a chocolate bar from the variety store and until you get to that point your ideal income is going to avoid you because you put it on too much of a pedestal and the things that people pedestalize they're not attracted to them if you pedal pet i can't talk pedestalize if you pedestalize something most of the time that thing will end up pitying you and pity is not attractive. Pity is not seductive and you need to seduce money. Once again, go watch the video I mentioned before. So what you actually need to do is be quite nonchalant about the things you want. You actually need to care less about the things you want. Have you ever noticed that like the most richest successful people, they don't need the money. You got someone like Jeff Bezos who has like $162 billion and people are complaining, oh, there's people starving all around the world and this guy has $162 billion. Here's the difference. Jeff Bezos doesn't need the money and that's why more money comes to him. And everybody else who is desperate and destitute for money needs it incredibly badly and unfortunately that's why money avoids them you look like you're thinking about something yeah i was like it's probably not liquid people forget that too. oh yeah yeah it's not liquid yeah he doesn't have 162 billion sitting there in cash no no that that's wild but yeah once you tap into the emotions and see things as very nonchalant in terms of what you want something very funny happens you automatically start taking the actions to get what you want because remember i asked you if you had your dream income what would you be doing what would you be saying how would you be acting when you do this emotional process correctly you automatically end up taking the actions to get what you want because that's what you'd be doing anyways if you had what you want to have if you were making a million dollars a month what actions would you be taking if you are acting as that individual speaking like that person doing what that person would do let's say every day you send out an email or every week you make a youtube video or whatever it is you would already be doing it you would just do it 
because you're in that frequency and you need to be something before you have it. Just do what you would do if you had a million dollars a month, not what you would have, what you would do. All right. Remember this. If you want to make your dream income, you need to stop giving a f and make it feel normal. And that's a universal law of importing money into your life. And now that you know the spiritual law, you can learn the practical laws to making money with your mind by checking out this video from me and wifey. Peace. Peace.